Hi, welcome to the open campus of Qual's Faculty of Engineering. I'm now in the Learning Common 1 with very cozy chairs. It's a very nice environment here, very quiet. You can enjoy your study here. Um, I'm Dr. Zilu Liang, and I'm in charge of the Ubiquitous and Personal Computing Laboratory. In my lab, we focus on making intelligent systems that combine wearable technology and data science to help people thrive in their lives. And a very important aspect of our research is the making of software such as mobile apps. And today, I'd like to show you how to make a simple app within just a few minutes. Mm, but what app shall we make today? Oh, tomorrow is my friend's birthday. So how about making a digital birthday card for her? Wow, this sounds great. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new project. So I'm going to open file, new and new project. I choose empty activity, next. And I'll give a name to my app, birthday. Finish. So now Android Studio is automatically creating a lot of files that's needed for the app project. And it will take a little while. Okay, so here is our birthday card app project. So we mostly work in the main activity file and the activity main.xml file. So let's open this layout file first. Okay, so I'm going to create the home screen for the birthday card app. So what I'm going to do now is to add the resources I need for the layout. So first, I will add a picture into the drawable folder. So I'm just going to copy and paste file into this folder and I'm gonna call my picture birthday yeah, just hit OK you can see the picture file has been added here and next I'm gonna add my audio file so for this one first I will create a new folder under this res folder so i'm going to right click new and choose under resource directory and here i'm going to choose a role okay now oh, there it is and then i'm going to copy the audio file the birthday song just copy and paste it into the role folder Hit OK. OK, now I have all the resources I need to create the home screen. And then I'm going to go back to the home screen, delete this text view. Instead, I'm going to add an image view here. And for the image view, I'm going to use my birthday image. So I need to add constraint to four edges of the image. And I'm going to enlarge it a little bit so that it occupies the full screen. Make sure it's well placed. Looks good. And next, I'm going to add a button and put it right below the happy birthday, best wishes. And I'm going to change the text of the button to click me. And change the background color, background color to kind of a dark green. I'll choose this color. All right. And then change the text color. Scroll down to the very bottom text color and change it to white. 
So it creates a good contrast with the background color. Okay, but the font looks too small. So let's enlarge the font, go to text appearance, and in the drop down list, choose large. Yeah, it looks better now. And let's resize the button. Okay, so I want the app to function like this. When the user click this button, the birthday song will play. So we need to add a little bit of code into the XML file. So here I'm going to add an extra attribute called Android. Unclick. And we'll name it to play song. Okay, you can see here is a little bit of error. So let's go back to the layout. Like the lower, the bottom constraint handle to the bottom edge of the home screen and the top constraint handle to the top edge of the screen. Okay, go back to the text we, we've created on click method called place on and then I'm just going to hover my mouse on it and press alt enter together to create the place on method in the Java file. So what we're going to do here is to first create a media player called my song and then my song equal media player dot create. So we're going to create the media player within this context, which is main activity dot this. And we're going to play a song that is a resource in the r dot role folder here. And the file is called birthday, sorry, dot birthday. Yeah. And then in the play song method, we're going to start my song dot start. That's it. So in this function, it defines the unclick behavior. So when the user click the button, the song will stop play. Now let's run the app. Okay, the phone is starting. and our birthday card app has been installed and opened on the virtual device. So that's how it looks on the home screen. If we click this. We sing happy birthday to you and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Well, that is the birthday card app. I really hope you enjoyed my demonstration. And I also hope you have a great time in the open campus. Please apply for quals. I'm still looking forward to seeing you in the future.